Hello. In this video, I want to show how you can use the Moat Chrome extension to record audio on any website. All right, so here's how it works. Say I have this website and I want students to read it, but I want to give them a little context, a little introduction, some voice instruction, whatever it may be. If I pull up the article just like this, and then I click the voice note. I'm not going to be creating voice notes at specific points in the article. I'm just creating one voice note for this whole website. All right, so let's get started. Again, what I did is I went to the website I wanted and then I clicked on my Moat Chrome extension, which I already have installed. Now I would record my voice note by pressing the icon. Hello, so I would like you to read this article in particular, I would like you to take note of, and then add some instructions here, maybe give some context. All right, let's press done. As soon as that happens, it copies my moat to my clipboard. Now, if I give students that link to listen to, okay, so if I just go ahead and paste that link into my URL bar, say I assigned it through my learning management system or whatever I may do, it's going to redirect students to the actual article and it's going to say that I left a little note here. Since I have the premium version, I get the auto transcription built right in. If you have the free version, you won't get the transcription and then students can click to play. Oh, so I would like you to read and then they could read the article and if they actually close that it still shows right here in the sidebar that they can open it up again there's supposed to be a little moat icon right here i don't know why it's not showing right now but they can still open it up and replay if they need to listen to it a couple times over as they are reading this article. So again, all I did was I went to the website, I clicked on the little moat icon, I recorded my voice note, it automatically copies to the clipboard. If you need to find it again, I could just go to my recent moats and I'll see this is the last one I recorded, I can just copy the link. And then it's not just a link to a voice note, but it actually takes people to the website where you record it on and it shows the voice note also. Now don't forget that everybody has to have the Moat Chrome extension in order to have this functionality. So the teacher needs to have it, students need to also have it so that they can see the Moat card show up on the website just like it shows up for me. So that's an important step one. But once you got that worked out, you're good to go. The only last thing that I did want to quickly mention, if I copied that link into a Google Doc, that's the only thing that you don't want to do because what happens is Moat is very wise and it embeds the audio directly into Google Docs so you can play it directly. So I would like you and though it's amazing that you can normally listen to the audio in line in any Google Doc without having to go to a specific website, for this particular purpose, you of course want students to go to the actual website and clicking on this little globe icon doesn't actually get you to the website. Students would have to copy the URL and then they would need to paste it into the URL bar to be taken to that article. So if you are using a Google Doc, then you would just have to train students to kind of give that instruction. So find your article here by copying the URL, something like that and make sure that they're comfortable doing that. If you just paste this link into your learning management system, then you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. It's just the really sweet functionality of embedding the audio into a Google Doc that kind of complicates this particular use case. I don't wanna add anything complex here, but I did wanna give you that heads up warning. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Bye.